particular video we are going to learn about the ssh command okay so basically this command we use to connect to the remote machines or uh, if you are not aware of remote machine then let me tell you first what is a remote machine so basically this is a concept of cloud computing in which uh, when you use a machine this is just like a similar machine but we access it remotely okay that will be the similar machine like your pc and the same operating system will be there okay and it will be linux or it can be windows os okay so basically that particular instance or that particular machine is stored in the data center of different cloud providers if you are using aws then amazon amazon data center will be there if you are using azure then uh, microsoft cloud data center will be there and in case of google then google uh, data center will be there okay so basically uh, what we are going to perform in this particular video so first of all i will create a virtual machine in azure you can also do it because it's a free and using sandbox so you can uh, like uh, you get one hour access of the azure portal so you can go on this particular link or you can just search for create a vm using azure portal then you will get this link and you will just need to log in using your microsoft account so i'll just activate sandbox it will take some time just wait uh, for it okay but uh, 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 let me tell you first like uh, ssh command so what port it uses so basically ssh command uses port number 22 okay so now this process is uh, going on and in this particular this article you can learn about how you can create a virtual machine also if you're interested okay so now 91 92 yeah okay and you have to just go there and click on this azure portal okay okay now here this here is the azure portal you can easily uh, create virtual machines in this just click on this virtual machine okay so i will just click on it and you have to just uh, click on create as your virtual machine okay so here you can see the resource code you have to select just this learn and virtual machine name i will just use a uh, linux vm and this is the ubuntu server we are going to use in our case this is a image it means which operating system you are going to use so here you can see choose the base operating system or applicator applicable for the vm so we are already to selected that is ubuntu server you can also select different os like uh, windows and all for windows we use rdp okay so now here you can see uh, if you are going with the ssh public key then it will create a dot pem file but right now we are not going with it we are going uh, the simple way that is a password so i will just provide a password that is ayush and i will provide a username okay okay matching now ssh port is there you can uh, enable http also it's all, all your choice okay now next and here you don't have to do any kind of changes no changes you have to do okay so you can directly just uh, click on review plus create okay so basically the main purpose of this video is to so just show you the working of ssh cupboard okay so one uh, this uh, scene is deployed and I can show you easily okay so here you can see validation pass it means you have uh, done all the things correctly you have to just click on create here okay initializing deployment let's wait it will take approx so I think two to three minutes of time and basically this video will be the first part in our next part we will cover some different things in ssh like how we can share files and all those things okay deployment is in progress let's wait
okay it's going on here you can see the all the steps uh, uh, whatever it is uh, performing okay like Linux IP VM NSG okay it will take uh, approx two minutes of time now yeah Linux VM is now it is getting created let's wait Okay, you can skip this part in the video like you can fast forward. Now it's done, just uh, one confirmation should come, yeah, your deployment is complete. Uh, you have to just click on this go to resource, okay, yeah, uh, let's wait. Agent is not ready. Why not ready? Troubleshoot the issue. Okay, I'm not getting why it's not ready. Let me just click on this. VM extension issues. No issue found. Okay okay no issue found uh, let me just uh, uh, yeah IP address is visible to me I hope now I can uh, do so here you can see the IP address of this Linux VM machine and I know the my username and password so I will use this SSH command okay and uh, SSH and the username is whatever Ayush at the rate and the IP which you have copied enter okay so here it is asking are you sure you want to continue yeah I'm absolutely damn sure <laughs> click on yes okay so we have to just type the password I hope I have entered correct password. Okay, done. <laughs> so here you can see I use Linux VM is the username and uh, uh, is the host name of that PC or Ubuntu machine and this is Ayush. Okay, so you can see this is not my Ubuntu machine. Okay, you can clear the screen if I do ls. So here it is nothing. Okay, so if I will just uh, create one file uh let me create a cat test.txt uh leave i will not create one file uh, let me just install the one apache server in this sudo apt uh, get install apache 2 so it is basically a web server we use to host uh, web applications so okay so just click uh, hit enter okay why oh, it's not working I don't know why it's not working let's check I will just close this terminal again I will connect uh, I hope that connection has been lost okay SSH the username and the IP okay IP is not getting printed let me check what is IP yeah here yeah, this one okay not I don't want HTTP something like that just remove all those things hit enter okay the password okay so now I am this machine. I will just install Apache server, Apache 2, hit enter. Yeah. Do you want to continue? Yes. Click on yes. Now here you can see the Apache server is uh, installing. Uh, this is not my Linux machine. <laughs> like you will think like this is my Ubuntu machine. Okay. So Apache 2 is getting okay. Okay. 
uh, after uh, creating the server you will see the default page of Apache okay we are done and I will just reload okay so automatically here you can see the Apache server uh, default page is displaying okay so uh, let me change this uh, like I will just change the permission of one folder that is uh, 700 77 and the folder is war www html basically this is the directory where your index.html file is stored i'll do sudo now okay and now let's move back into those directories i will just use cd dot dot slash ls again cd dot dot slash ls i will move into the var www html okay now we'll do ls here you will see there is nothing i will just create index.html and i will okay permission denied i will use sudo okay again it's permission is denied okay ls iphone l ch mode 77 operation not permitted let's use sudo okay now i can edit this index.html file okay i will use this body and the h1 tag i will use this is uh, tutorial based on ssh by ayush okay and just close this body tag control d to save and just reload this page okay so you are done here you can see this is tutorial based on ssh by iu so i hope you um, got to learn about different things in this particular video like how you can create vms in uh, azure azure okay and also how you can uh, uh, install a Apache server in your remote machine and the most important thing SSH command how you can connect so in our next video we will use different commands to uh, we will see how we can upload files from our uh, like this local machine to this machine but <coughs> sorry <coughs> sorry uh, but we will use uh, like different server okay like tomorrow we will use uh, ec2 server of amazon okay but because uh, this machine will get uh, like uh, out of network in one hour okay not in even one hour it will take uh, approx 35 minutes will be remaining okay 42 minutes okay so thank you guys for watching this video and uh, i hope you liked it and got to learn about new things so we will meet in the next video so bye bye and we'll meet in the next one thank you for watching